What is up ladies and gents, welcome to the Big BC Finance channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about SUI, why I'm super bullish on this token, and my price predictions for the shorter term as well as the longer term for this coin. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. And of course, if you're looking to buy or trade SUI, then look no further than the MEX exchange. This is the exchange that I use to buy and trade cryptocurrencies. It's the exchange that I've used since the start. And some of the reasons why I do so is because it has some of the lowest fees on the market. I like that it doesn't have KYC needed to get started here. And there are plenty of other reasons. So of course, if you do want to support the channel, click in the link in the description down below and you will be taken to a page that looks a little bit like this. All you gotta do is fill in your email, your password, and then just press sign up and you can get started straight away. So of course, thank you again, guys, and let's get into this video. So there's a lot to talk about SUI and it's one of the coins that I love. There's a lot that I love about SUI at the moment, particularly that we've seen this beautiful rally here on SUI with places where it's kind of paused, taken a breath and continued its leg up. SUI is like a shoulder that doesn't stop marching and there's plenty of space for this coin to run in my opinion. And I'll show you that in a second. Of course, just visualizing what this pump has looked like since that dip there in August 2024. That was when the uh, Japan scare occurred. We've seen a 7x here on SUI. And we've seen very, very pleasant consolidation periods where the price has kind of stopped taking a pause, allowed paper hands to kind of get out of the coin and let new buyers come in. Uh, and we've seen that twice here on SUI. And each time we've had this consolidation, it's kind of powered the next move up. Every single time we've seen a beautiful up rally there. Again, we've seen this next up rally. And now we're seeing again a consolidation period here on SUI. Now, the question on everyone's mind is what's gonna happen next here on SUI? And kind of visualizing this trend that we have at the moment is quite simple. We just draw a line connecting all the supports here on the SUI price. And this gives us a good indication of what might happen next. Because of course we want, because of course if we are bullish here on SUI, we want this trend to really be respected. We don't want SUI kind of breaking through the trend line like this because then we might be because then this indicates that we might be starting a new trend that could be sideways or even a downtrend here on SUI. Of course, crypto markets are looking fine at the moment. We did have a little bit of a dump, but things on all the major altcoins are still looking particularly bullish and SUI is no exception. On top of that as well, on SUI, we do have a very, very nice pattern. Have a look at this. On SUI, we have this beautiful cup and handle pattern here on the price. The cup and handle pattern is a bullish chart pattern that when we see it on the chart has a very bullish implication for the chart that we see it on. And in this case, we see it here on SUI. This here is the resistance for the price on SUI. And what we see here is the cup formation that's occurred over the space of around six months. So that's a very nice cup. It's like a dome price goes down and slowly comes back up. We see a candle. So the handle is a period where we see prices consolidate or even move in a slight downtrend like this. And when we see that breakout as we did at the start of November here on SUI, we get a very, very bullish price target. And the confirmation for this cup and handle was just here when we broke this little handle here on the cup. And the price target for this is absolutely amazing because what we expect to see from a cup of handle is the distance between the very bottom of the cup there all the way to the neckline where this resistance is. And of course, all we do is just drag our target to where we saw a breakout from the handle here. And our expected price target on SUI is is sitting at just over $10 there, at $10.39 here on SUI. That was a 400% trade if you caught it from its breakout. And it's roughly around a two and a half X from where the price is at now. So still a lot of upside if this chart pattern is to be respected. Now, and there's another pattern that I've noticed here on SUI as well. If we connect all the highs here a little bit like this, they do connect very, very well. So this line here is gonna be an important resistance for us here on SUI. Of course, also what I do believe we could be seeing a little bit of is some form of head and shoulders. Look, the two shoulders 
are starting to form on either side here on SUI. Maybe we see the price do something like this, for example, and form a really nice symmetrical shoulder to the other one there as well. Or maybe not, and this is just a smaller shoulder, but we see this massive head here as well, forming a head and shoulders pattern with this resistance coming across here as the neckline. Now, of course, the implication of this is if SUI just goes on a crazy rally anytime soon it does this and breaks through the neckline, for example, then we could have a very, very bullish price target here. The price target for this one is absolutely bizarre, but if it does occur, then that is going to be a flipping winning trade for everyone. That will take SUI to $28 if it is going to be respected. Of course, the price target changes a bit depending on where we break out. Could be up to $30 if it takes a little bit longer. Um, to break out of this neckline or maybe a little bit less if it breaks out very soon but when we break out we get an extremely high price tag at there 28 to 30 dollars on sui now of course that is an 8x trade and if that were to occur that would put sui close to a price target if we just have a look at coin market cap that would put sui's market cap very close to where solana is right now solana sitting currently at a hundred billion dollars and sui another layer one protocol is sitting at just under 11 billion dollars so our first price target at ten dollars for sui will take this around to 25 billion still a quarter still only a quarter of what solana is that would also put it above avalanche another layer one there um but you know, Solana is setting the weight at the moment. And of course, even if Sui gets to $10, that's still only a quarter of what the market cap is for Solana. Of course, if Sui does reach the $30 mark, then that will give it a rough market cap of around 100 billion, like I say, which is very similar to what Solana is now. So it's still all in the realm of possibility, particularly if you believe that Solana is going to double or triple in this current bull market. But in that sense, I do believe Sui has a lot of space to run. Now, of course, it has a very bullish setup. Like I say, it's got this trend line moving up. If it does lose this trend line, which, you know, is just down to what the cryptocurrency market does. We did see that pump um, occur where some, where some altcoins dropped 10, 20 percent. We saw, um, let's have a look on a different one. Yeah, you see, we see we saw quite a big drop yesterday. Um, XRP lost about 20% there, I think, uh, from head to toe, 20% around on ADA as well. Um, so SUI there was no exception. Of course, we did see some losses yesterday on the price. And of course, if the crypto market doesn't behave, then I would expect to lose this trend line. And maybe we see something a bit more like this. And then I'll make a video on what we might expect if this scenario occurs. But at the current time, Everything is looking very, very nice here for Sui. I really like the setup here on this coin. It's got a clear cup and handle that I think we have already broken out of. And there's a clear, clear price target in the shorter term, in my opinion, to $10. This could happen within the next few weeks. For example, it looks like we've been making consolidations and legs up. And now the consolidation period, if we just measure that across, has already been occurring for 30 days, pretty similar to the previous consolidation, a little bit shorter at the moment. Uh, the previous one was 47 days. So maybe, you know, we see a few more weeks of sideways movement here on SUI. But when we get that decision, which is this trend line moving up, then we should see prices make its next leg up on SUI towards that $10 region. So I'm really, really bullish here. Really excited to see what happens. Of course, monitor your charts. If the price does get close to this line here, then we want to be seeing what the price does. Um, does it use it as a support again, or do we see a clear breakdown from this bullish line? Because if we do, then that changes everything about SUI in the shorter term. So, that's kind of my thought process here on SUI. One of the coins that I'm super bullish on because it has a very, very nice setup. It's way above its moving average here. Very, very bullish price. We also see its technical indicators pointing extremely bullish here on SUI. We did get a sell cross there on SUI on the one day chart. It's just a little crossover now, which could be a potential sell signal um, there. But of course, momentum is still way above that halfway line on SUI, which is what we want to see in a bull trend. Same goes for the RSI. 
RSI, in fact, we see a clear bullish trend where we got a support line kind of holding up the RSI. The RSI right now is actually at 55, which is just slightly bullish, but it does not indicate that we are overbought. Oh, so in fact, this chart looks like we could see another overbought region coming soon here on SUI, something a little bit like this. Of course, uh, that translated into the price would be the start of his next leg up, in my opinion, to that $10 mark, and then potentially $28 to $30 in 2025. Now, of course, like I say, there's plenty of room here on the RSI for it to run a lot higher. So that, in my opinion, is extremely bullish as well. If it was already at, say, 80 or 90, for example, that would be a bit concerning because then there's obviously that's where its highs lay at, 80 to 90 there. So that would indicate that there's too much that it's too overbought and that it needs to cool off some more. But the fact that we're almost at halfway here on the RSI indicates there's plenty of more, there's plenty more room on the bullish side here for prices to go up. So that's kind of my interpretation of everything. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on SUI. Of course, do let me know down in the comments below what your price targets are here for SUI and let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.